That South Beach Wine and Food Festival, I still say that it's one of the best ways to spot trends. Definitely a couple projects that we initiated with Midas Foods actually came from that event. You looked at the stuff they're doing, and there are people doing birria burgers yeah. and comeback sauces and specialty sauces, all of the fl- all of the things that you're seeing everywhere. But it was great because you know that if somebody in Miami is doing it and somebody in Oklahoma is doing it and somebody – then. It's mm-hmm. not a fad. It's a trend. Right, right. And I, I just think it's a phenomenal event. I went this last February and got a lot from it. I put together my company's trend information, and it's it's a component of what I put together for, for trends for all different categories. Can you share some of those trends with us that you have identified? I, I haven't finished uh, the breakouts, but, I mean, some of the things are pretty obvious. I mean, th- Yuzu... Um, Korean flavors are still hot. They've been hot for a long time, but I mentioned earlier, Indian flavors are are on the rise. Mm -hmm. You're seeing more regional Indian flavors come in. Mushrooms and truffle are just off the charts. I mean, I remember I'm old enough to remember when people said, oh, mushrooms are really, you know, you know, some people just don't like them. And, you know, if you put mushrooms in it, you're not going to get them. That's not it. Mushrooms are everywhere now. I mean, it's all different kinds, uh, independent call outs. Um, the other things that are still going, uh, Nashville hot or hot chicken in general is still without a doubt. Uh, people are more going to other huge. identifying chilies, but yeah, I, I, I do an overall and then I do one for breakfast. I do one for burgers. I do one for chicken, do one for seafood because they all have little nuances. And then I also, not just the flavors or the ingredients or the forms, but I also try to get if there's. You know, when, when certain menu types are there, like shared apps, when those were the, the thing and that was the end-all be-all or the, um, you know, you get into now Gen Z, everybody kind of wants individualized meals. Um, so I, I was actually talking with a with some friends that work for a restaurant chain and uh, their whole thing was, why, why are these other companies that have worse food doing better with a younger group? And it's like, well, when you get your food from your restaurant – they get four different containers and they kind of have to share things. But when they, when they get it from this other place, even though the food sucks, um, they get a box and all their stuff's in it. And um, Gen Z is a lot more individualized. Like the, the whole shared app, shared everything. It's not as popular with Gen Z as it is as previous generations. They kind of want to get their stuff and like eat their own at the same time you're eating your own, not kind of pick and choose and share. 